the alien Bernard Hopkins vs. Sergei the Crusher Kovalev. Alien vs. Predator, November 8th on HBO, don't miss it. It's going to be a great fight. Sergey Kovalev, 25-0, 23 knockouts, one draw, almost 89% knockout percentage. He has knocked out his last, um, let's see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, knocked out his last 9 opponents, and, uh, yeah, he's he's just he's a crusher. And then you got Bernard Hopkins, B Hop, the alien, the executioner. 55 and 6, third two knockouts, two draws, 50% knockout percentage, almost 500 rounds boxed. The guy got a lot of experience. Hasn't got a knockout since 10 years ago, I think against Oscar De La Hoya with that body shot. Um, so, this fight is going to be, it's going to be intense. One of the most, uh, anticipated matches for me of the year, guarantee for sure. Besides the many Pacquiao fights and the Floyd Mayweather fights, this fight is definitely up there. Because I never thought Bernard Hopkins would have took this opportunity, took this challenge, I mean, and, uh, you got to give respect to him, win or lose. Sergey Kovalev is a crusher. He's the most feared man in light heavyweight box, the division right now in boxing. And uh, I honestly think, I thought at most Bernard Hopkins was going to fight Adonis Stevenson because I could see Hopkins beating Adonis Stevenson way easier. Because Adonis Stevenson, he gasses out and he's sluggish. Kovalev, on the other hand, is just a destroyer. And I have to give respect to Hopkins because I was shocked when he when he said he was fighting this man. I never, I told my boxing friends this fight was, wasn't going to happen. And I was wrong. So, and I'm glad I was wrong because this is going to be a great fight. So, uh, yeah, you, um, my prediction for the fight, there's really two things that could happen only in this fight. And we know that for sure. Um... Close, close to 100%, there's only two outcomes. Hopkins wins by decision, outboxes Kovalev, kind of um, exposes Kovalev. And the other, Hopkins gets knocked out for the first time in his career by Kovalev, who knocks out almost 90% of his opponents and has knocked out 90% of his opponents with ease. So, what is my prediction? I have to say um, Kovalev by knockout. I think Kovalev is just... I don't think Hopkins has faced anyone like him before. His power will penetrate your guard. And uh, he just, he's heavy-handed. And Hopkins has never faced anyone like Kovalev like that. Kovalev is reaching his prime... And this is probably one of the most dangerous times to face this man. Because this man is on the incline. He keeps on getting... Like, he still hasn't... He's, he's, he's been in the prime in the prime age. He's, and he, his confidence is at an all-time high. And uh, he, Hopkins is facing this hungry Russian beast. And uh, like I say, you got to respect Hopkins for that. So my prediction, Kovalev will knock him out in the middle of the late rounds. Or, or if, it, if, it, if it goes to the scorecards, actually maybe, maybe Kovalev could win, actually, if he hurts him and drops Hopkins a lot of the time. But pretty much if it goes to decision, obviously Hopkins, it's going to favor Hopkins probably. But in my previous video, I said... Kovalev would destroy Hopkins, that is, that's what I think, but there's always that chance Hopkins could outbox Kovalev with his superior experience and skills in the ring. He knows the veteran tricks, he's a veteran, he's got so much experience, he's going to use every trick in the book with the holding, all that stuff, and 
he's going to be dirty, but in a smart way. But so yeah, he could he could outbox Kovalev and he could win, no doubt. But there's another possibility. Hopkins never been knocked out, but this might be the time he gets knocked out. And he's one of those people that if he went out of boxing before this fight, it'd be good because he goes out on a winning streak. But if he loses and he gets not gets knocked out for the first time, he's just going to be another fighter that stayed in too long kind of thing. So, um, anyway, let's look at look at Hopkins. His last fights. Shumanov, I expected Hopkins to win that fight. Shumanov, way too inexperienced. Guy is comes forward, didn't throw any punches though, really. He just was just he keep he keep on walking into Hopkins, not throwing anything and being too patient, waiting for what? So that was a bad game plan by him, too inexperienced. Kovalev is way different than Shumanov. And you're, we're probably going to see that. Colin Marat, who's that? Um, Chad Dawson, he's a pretty good fighter. He lost to Chad, da Chad Dawson. Chad Dawson, the first fight, no contest. They, th no contest. They first ruled it as a KO win, and that was garbage. Chad Dawson clearly football tackled him. And uh, so that fight really... Chad Dawson was just, I don't know what he was doing there. John Pascal, Hopkins beat him, clearly. Good fighter, beat him. Beat a young, hungry fighter. Uh, another one against John Pascal. You've got to draw that time. Roy Jones Jr., unanimous decision. Kelly Pavlik, unanimous decision. And, yeah, so definitely... Lost to Jermaine Taylor, Joe Kozaki, but the guy has a Hall of Fame resume, is beating top guys, but no one is like Sergey Kovalev that he's faced, especially in Kovalev's point, in the point in his career, the guy is, hey, come on, shh, the guy is just, like I said, he's in the prime of his career, he's hungry. And he's just steamrolling everybody. So Hopkins definitely has to be on his game. And he has to use every veteran trick in the book. He's got to box extremely well and not make not even one mistake. And even if he doesn't make any mistakes, can he still take the power? Will the power just penetrate Hopkins' guard and drop his 50-year-old frame? The guys, before when this fight happens in November... It's going to be days or weeks away from, I think a couple of weeks to, a, I think it was like he turns, in January he turns 50. And that's why he's the alien. He's fighting these guys at 50 years old, incredible. But uh, can he do it against this guy? I don't think so, but he has a chance. Hopkins might shock us. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if he outboxed Kovalev the whole night and it went to decision and Hopkins wins. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. But um, I wouldn't be surprised if Kovalev knocks Hopkins out in the late rounds. So that's my prediction. Kovalev by knockout, late rounds. This fight, November 8th. The, I don't think the... I think they haven't decided on a venue yet. There's like two venues they're deciding over Atlantic City or something in New Jersey. That's one of them. It's going to be on HBO. I think it might be pay-per-view. Um, and it's going to be for Kovalev's WBO title, for Hopkins IBF and WBA title. So three titles at stake, the real titles, and it's going to be a great fight. I can't wait for November 8th. Don't miss it. Who do you think is going to win this fight? Um, I'm going with Sergey Kovalev, but I'm not counting Hopkins out. I would say that's my prediction, but it could be a 50-50 fight if Hopkins can box well. And uh, if you look at actually Sergey Kovalev's resume, he's beaten he's beaten good guys, but not well-known guys. Nathan cleverly undefeated. I smell Salah, 21 and one. Cedric Agni, 26 and 0. 
Blake Caporello, his recent fight, 19 and 0. He's been in good guys with good records, but not um, well known guys. So definitely Hopkins is going to be his biggest test, obviously. And we'll see how he does, or will he get exposed, or will he knock out the old man for the first time, the alien. Don't miss it. November 8th, HBO, the alien versus the crusher. Subscribe if you like my videos, like them. And are you excited for this fight? I am. I think it's going to be a great fight, but it could be boring. You never know. If Hopkins has his way, it could be boring. But we'll find out.